Hey folks, Pixie here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders for Minecraft 1.3.1. You're going to need to have something like WinZip installed to open zip files and RAR files and stuff. So the first thing you need to do is grab Optifine. It won't work without Optifine. The link to the Optifine post on the Minecraft forums is in the video description. The one I got is right at the top here, Optifine HD B1 Ultra for Minecraft 1.3.1. There's a download link there. Once you've downloaded it, open the zip up and there's a bunch of class files in here. Let me move that over here. So then you need to go to your Minecraft bin folder. It's usually an updater roaming.minecraft and then bin. You need to open your minecraft.jar and that opens with, this is what you need WinZip for, uh, WinRAR. There you go. And then you need to copy all of these and move them across into your minecraft.jar. And inside your minecraft.jar, you'll have at the top your meta inf folder. It'll be all in uppercase letters, meta hyphen inf. You need to just delete that. There's nothing important in there for you. Just get rid of it. So copy all these across into your minecraft.jar. And then there's a link in the video description for the 1.3.1 download of Sonic Ether's shaders. Uh, I've linked to Sonic Ether's Facebook page because that's where he seems to be doing most of his updating these days. So when you've downloaded that, open your downloads folder and let's run that. Now inside you have Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders there. We'll just open that and you see you've got an installer, you've got Optifine in there, you can use that one if you want to. And you've got SEUS Adjusted Zip. Now this one is a texture pack. So let's open the bin folder again, go up to Minecraft, open your texture packs, and you need to put this one in there, SEUS adjusted dot zip. And then you open the installer, double click that, and it'll come up with this. And just check install mods there, and it'll run and install. And that'll be done for you. So I'm going to hop over to Minecraft and show you how that runs. So here we are inside the game looking very pretty. Uh, let me just uh, escape, go into options, video settings and quality. You need to make sure custom colors is on. If that's off, everything goes really bright. So turn that on. I've got anti-stropic filtering off. Turning it on gives the water kind of purpley color there. So let me just flick through and turn that off. Anti-aliasing off, turning it on also makes the water go a bit purple. And anything else you can pretty much do your own thing with. Uh, connected textures off, on, doesn't really matter. Texture packs down here, you need to make sure the SEOS adjusted pack is selected. Um, it's basically default Minecraft texture pack, but to work properly with the shader. And you can see the water looks just awesome. So the, the world I'm playing on now is my local copy of the Mindsquish server's roleplay world, and this is our spawn town. Uh, let me get down here to show you the sun shafts really pretty and the lighting is really nice you can see inside here there's a nice warm orange glow from the torches nice shadows from the hatches there let me fly over to this bit trees look really cool nice shadows Uh, this looks great. So uh, I'm not providing any technical support at all for this. So if you have problems either with Optifine, go to the Optifine forums, or with the shader, go to Sonic's Facebook page and uh, just explain the problem you're having. If you're getting a black screen after logging into Minecraft, that's probably because you haven't deleted your meta in folder. That's the most common cause. So make sure that's gone. And uh, my frame rate does drop significantly when running this. So you need a decent -ish PC. I'm on 60 now, which is not too bad. I've got the window at 1280 by 720, and I'm recording. Usually I get over 100 FPS here. So uh, yeah, this is very nice. Let's head over this way. Nice shadows from the columns. Squiddies in the water there. The lighthouse looks cool. It really makes a artificial light look nice and cozy. 
boats bobbing around there. Very cool sun shafts through the fence. So a resident pit monster. Let's come up here and show you this uh, airship tower. A few lighting bugs going on here. This is the Minecraft lighting bugs, not the, not with the shader. So this looks really awesome. So yeah, it makes Minecraft very pretty. Pretty simple to install. I uh, hope I've explained everything clearly enough. And uh, enjoy pretty Minecraft. Thanks for watching. Bye.